Okay. Uh, hello, YouTube. Um, today, I was going to show you a little trick that I've been using for uh, quite a while now, especially if I'm not really sure, you know, uh, what to do or don't really have any kind of inspiration or, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, so right now I'm doing sound design for a game. It's called Rail Racers. <laughs> Might want to check that out because it's pretty fun, actually. Anyways, um, and uh, we needed like tons of, you know, power ups and engines and crashes and stuff like that. So, um, the first thing I did was I made a, uh, a generator, which this video is is uh, based on pretty much, or uh, this is the whole idea, anyways. Um, and uh, it basically generated, you know, uh, layers and textures and assets for me to use in order to get, you know, a final sound or a final products or uh, whatever and uh, this is basically how I did that so these clips here you see in the uh, clip array is uh, all these respawn crash and blah 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 those are um, sounds that I've made for uh, the game and then I made uh, for this particular demonstration I made four different tracks and as you can see down here this is the really low end stuff uh, that's the low mid and uh, this is the you know the high mids and this is the the highs and they are set in a group which is set to sense only because I don't want to listen to the um, uh, sounds uh, without any effects or anything and then I got four FX tracks over here and this one takes the input gets its input from uh, band one so this is the, the low and this is the low mid this is the mid or uh, Wait, low, yeah, mid, and this is the high. So, you know, this one gets the input from that one, and this one gets from that one, and so on. And then I got four dummy clips over here. As you can see, I got some uh, stuff going on right here. And I got four dummy clips, which if you don't know what a dummy clip is, you should probably check that out. So, with some animation or uh, automation going on, set to uh, legato mode with follow action on one. I might actually change that to, uh, let's see, four instead. So let me just do this and then we get these. <coughs> Okay, it's like that. Um, they're set to uh, legato mode, so right now they're set to four. So they're going to be playing four beats and then launch any clip in this uh, array. And as you know before, there's four of them. So any of these, it could launch the same one and the playhead would just continue or it might launch this one and the playhead would continue from that point on, which is the point of legato, as you can see here in the info view, legato mode switch, blah, blah, blah. And all of these are set to the same setting so they can play any clip in the array. And then 
uh, I got four tracks here, which basically just records the output from that. So then you can do, okay, let's start with, you know, over here. Um, so what, and I also got a master record, which uh, records this part here. So what will happen is, So what happened is that I recorded all of these here. Uh, yeah, I have to put these as well. Okay. Uh, and uh, now we got everything recorded in layers and well, didn't actually record the master because I've set it to yeah i forgot to uh send it anywhere but you know uh everything's uh like recorded into layers well, that's the first one boom yeah and nothing <laughs> just move your loop brace separate everything like this you know just go through them one by one <laughs> This is basically the idea behind this. And there's there's a, a few pretty neat things about this. Uh, first off, um, you know you can have as, as many as these as you wanna, so let's say these four might only be uh, sub booms and you got uh, eight more which is you know impacts maybe and you got some animal sounds maybe debris you know stuff like that you can just throw the faders around and you know you don't have to have the exact same automation on everything this is just because I, uh, the design for the game specifically needed this so um, but also you can do stuff like this you know when you play this uh, the output from this chain is going to go into this one, which is going to be affected by this one, which is then going to be recorded over here. So you get pre-processing, uh, post-processing, and then you can post-process before you actually consolidate, which is pretty... 
pretty handy. Okay, sorry. Let's see. What am I doing? All oh, right. Yeah, okay. sure why it stopped but let's <laughs> map that to that one instead and see what happens because you know in fact maybe oh sorry maybe I actually even want to adjust the EQ curve a little bit on this one like so because ah fuck it why not you know get rid of that one and that one as well and you know, maybe <laughs> you know, you, you get the idea. And uh, yeah, so you can do some pretty cool stuff with this and you can just keep recording. I mean, I've, I've done sets like, I got probably, I don't know, 20, what the fuck's my mouse here? 20, 40 different, you know, layers or assets, whatever you want to call them, different automation over here. And just, you know, hit record for five minutes and come back and you got, thousands of layers that you can go through and just see what the f you know so sorry about my language but you know uh go try it because it's 